In this how-to video, we're going to take a look at using an aircraft that's not in the drop-down list. Since there's an ever-growing number of aircraft and combinations of aircraft in the marketplace and, and on the internet, the drop-down list will never be 100% for every possible aircraft that could be flown. So the drop-down list contains only the aircraft for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Standard Edition. All of the, the standard aircraft are here. You can switch between them and you shouldn't have any problems. You might have issues if you switch between prop and jet aircraft with the aircraft being cold and dark, depending on which aircraft you're going between. If you want to be 100% certain of the configuration options of the aircraft when you start, you really need to go into world map and, and actually load the flight, sit in the cockpit, set everything you want to set, and then save your flight plan from the cockpit. At that point, flight plan will save every aircraft setting. But if I take this X-Cub flight and switch to, uh, you know, 747, there's going to be a lot of settings missing for the 747, so it'll start cold and dark. Okay, so that's the caveat to swapping aircraft. But let's say I may have a lot more aircraft than just this in my hangar. What if I want to use uh, an aircraft that's not in the list? Well. I could just type the name of the aircraft in the block. However, that name needs to be exactly correct for what the game is expecting. You'll see in the list, sometimes the publisher's name is in front, sometimes the publisher's name is in back, sometimes not at all. There's no standardization. I need to know how I'm going to type that aircraft in exactly. And the best way to do that is to just load up a flight in World Map. I have the Reno Air Races installed, so I've got a P-51 Mustang available in my hangar. So we'll just pick that, and we can pick any airport, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to fly this flight at all. I'm just going to save it so that I can see what the exact aircraft name is. So we'll switch, actually we'll leave this flight plan open and just open another copy to go get our aircraft name. And now you'll see it's already pre-selected. Still not in the drop-down list. Here's the P's and it's still not in the list, but it is a valid selection and it will fly. So I can take that name, copy it to my clipboard, and then just paste it into my Matterhorn flight where I want it. Let's save this as Matterhorn P-51D. And then next time I want to use the P-51D, I don't have to create a new flight plan out of world map. I'll just open this one again and copy it out of here if I haven't memorized it by then. Okay, so let's go into cockpit map. We'll just load the flight. I believe this is one of the legs of one of the bush trips. See our other how-to videos if you want to learn how to use waypoints from within a bush trip to make your own free flight. We've spawned at our airport in the Mustang P-51D, ready to go fly the Alps in a P-51 Mustang. That probably hasn't happened since World War II. So you can do that with any aircraft in your hangar. The only real caveat is make absolutely certain that the name of the aircraft is what the game is expecting. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.